What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Unoriginal Craft. Uh, me and Mr. Green Hippo are just talking about recording episodes of Unoriginal Craft. And I'm actually starting in this room because I want to show you guys something. I got something. I enchanted a pick the other night, and... I got, I got Silk Touch, if you can't really tell or really care. Uh, that's the first time I've ever got Silk Touch in my entire freaking life. I haven't even used it once yet. <laughs> I will be using it eventually, though. What for? I guess we'll have to find out. Um, in the last episode, we actually constructed the glass windows. And I did say off screen I was going to do these windows and like the windows over here. I haven't done that yet though, but I will be doing that relatively soon. And as you see, my inventory is actually full of a whole bunch of crap. Um, actually, another thing I said last episode is I would be constructing my first store this episode. And so I'm going to attempt that and probably fail. Um, this is actually, I decided to finally create my own strip mine. So that goes down quite a ways. It doesn't go down too far. This is about two nights of me just digging and digging and digging. And there's just my cobbles chests. Um, I got a fortune two backup pick. I've seriously the thing with strip mines is I always run out of pickaxes. Which I mean makes complete sense because I mean you are using a lot of you're digging, so yeah, you go through pickaxes quite fast. But I'm not only like running out of my fortune pickaxe, but I'm running out of my like efficiency pickaxe too, so I'm running out of two pickaxes this is and it really sucks. Here is not all my loot combined like that I've ever had, but this is what I've gotten the past few nights. Like, look at this. This is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, almost 16 diamond blocks. Uh, I calculated it to be 123 diamonds, but I did that. I don't know if I was done mining at that point since um, Judo was actually asking how much I've gotten from my strip mine. And so I got a lot of iron too, coal, ladder, um, redstone. And every time I show you guys like the loot I get, I'm going to reset. Do I have anything in these? I do too. Uh, at least I do have this. I don't even have enough room to take this. Um, but yeah, so that's all the loot I've got in the past few days. Oh, that's not it though. I was digging down here for the strip mine. I came across this um, a a abandoned mine shaft, and I heard skeletons. And so, there's a spotter literally right here, and it's the best freaking thing ever. I cannot believe how lucky I got with that. So essentially, there's a spotter right underneath my house. My strip mine and my ex experience farm for now are all going to leave the same spot. Actually, it's not going to probably even be that much of an experience farm. Uh, I'll probably have an experience farm up until the point that the Enderman farm is done, or, cr or like created, but that's not going to be done until late May, probably early April, just because we're waiting for 1.8. Um, for a new version for the Enderman Ender 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 Farm Ender. And also it's going to probably take some time to construct obviously. So probably late May, early April, depending on when the stat or when the actual 1. Point, what is it? 8 or 1.8 I believe, right? We're in 1. Point, yeah, we're in 1.7 right now. Oh, I actually really need those. Thank you. We are going to take those. Um, we have all these trees here. I didn't put them here for decoration. I've just been planting trees to, you know, get the wood and all that. And I ran out of boat meal. So I just let them grow naturally, but I haven't chopped them down yet. Um, as you see, I have a lot of acacia wood in my inventory. Hmm. Do you guys know what I'm building today? Holy crap, I'm surprised I actually got there. Oh, that's not it, actually. Uh, if I can talk long enough to get to the end of this tunnel, we'll actually see that something else that has been changed. What might that be, you might be asking? Well, oh, that's a baby pig red. Jokes get my way. Although I believe these guys aren't supposed to walk on the track anymore. But I could have sworn the other day I got kicked back by one of them. Or maybe it was a magma slime. It could have also been a magma slime, I guess. Also, do blaze randomly spawn anywhere in the nether now? Occasionally? Oh, was this cleaned up? Oh, it doesn't look like it. It's not no, it wasn't cleaned up. I got some dug that out. You'll see why that's dug out in a second. There's snow here. <laughs> Um, do you want to build a snowman? I guess that's a um, Frozen reference. I haven't seen Frozen, so um, I don't really understand. I guess he can't make snowmen in the nether. I was like, where the heck is this guy's face? Right there. It's right here. So, that's a prank. I don't know. I mean, the thing with these kind of pranks is it's a community build. So, really, who cleans this up? Or do we just leave it? <laughs> I would say, normally with like, community builds, I would say that whoever built... Um, should probably be the one to clean it up. Oh, yeah, there's this. Um, Judah, actually, I'm assuming this is Judah. This, he did reserve this for himself, and he was talking about building, uh, 
an archery shop. And this actually looks really cool. I like that a lot. So props to him for making that bone. Um, let's see. Only one diamond for a full stack of bones. So I guess it's actually not a... Um, it's not, yeah, it's not an archery store, but I guess it's just a bone store. I guess he'll probably be doing the archery store eventually. Pay here! So, I'm not buying anything from here for now. I'll probably, well, especially because I have my own farm. But I'll probably come by here just, you know, to support the community and support people building stores. Since, I mean, the more stores that get built here, the better. Is there anything else that's new here? Um, I was talking about potions and... Okay, I didn't think... And then Kenny said, whoa, why don't you come by at the potion shop? But then she said, nah, it's not open yet. But I figured I would check anyway, just in case she was working on it like last day after I left or something. Right here, oh, you might have heard of that. Villager inside, do not open. Chris, the human trafficker. I don't know if there's like, and I know that's not one word, but it wouldn't fit otherwise. Here's my, here's my guy. He is a villager. Oh yeah, I guess we haven't gotten that update yet. Uh, hmm. Let's throw this out. Oh, nope, I want to throw it out. No. Oh God, I'm messing all the things up. I'm looking for Q, there we go. Give that to me. There we go. Don't want a baby zombie getting to him. I was really scared of this guy. When I actually brought him here, I actually brought this flint and steel for the main purpose of lighting this back on fire. Um, when I brought this guy through the nether, that's why there was blocks missing on top of the nether there. Because I had to like, um, I wanted to minecart this guy over here without ruining the snow since I wanted to show you guys that first before it was all um, shoveled up. Uh, oh, I didn't even take these out yet. Oops. Ha ha ha. Ha. I brought this village all the way from my house, the village that's right beside my house. It actually didn't take much time, it was kind of fun to be honest. Here's good old Egbert, Egg, Egbert just chilling out, you know, bro. Oh, we already do have chests over here. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Alright, what do I want to get rid of here? We'll get rid of that for now, and that, and that, and that. Actually, I didn't even need this leather, I don't know why I brought it. Um, oh. The main, purpose, the main thing I was going to do is put this in here for whenever other people knock these fire out because I'm sure it's going to happen. So, I want to build today a store. And first things first, I want to find a good location. Because, you know, location, location, location. Hmm, right here could be good, but it might be kind of big. So, I want to be careful of that. I don't want to put it anywhere that, you know, um, it'll be too big or something. I could put it here. Mm, but the road might get weird because we'd have to probably change direction on the road right here. So, like, turn right there and also right here. Or probably it'd be best to, like, change the intersection right here. We gotta, like, really bring this lined up. I gotta, like, get a whole bunch of dirt and, like, raise all this up so it's flatter. Because seriously, you can't really work with that. You have to raise things up and it sucks. I see Mr. Green Hippo did that for this place as well. Looks very natural, Mr. Green Hippo. Very natural. I see an like, a creeper exploded here. Another creeper exploded. Hmm. All right. Where could I build? Hmm. Maybe I'll get back to you guys in a second when I find an area to build. I thought this would be easier. I thought we would just walk around and be like, "Oh, here looks like a good spot." Ha <laughs> ha. And that would be it. But um, we do gotta make it kind of compact. I looks weird. I see like two blocks floating in the sky, but it's just the watermelon farm rendering in. Is that a horse? Oh, it's a cow. Whoa. Well, I was gonna say I'm shocked the cow cows are still living at spawn, but I, he probably came from um, the the spawn tunnel I made. Okay, I'm gonna look for a spot, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, three hours of filling in dirt later. This looks really like way too straight edge and not not natural. I'll fix that later. Um, I was, yeah, actually, I did talk about this. Mr. Green Hippo shot just kind of raised the dirt. I'm going to fix that as well. I don't, I like, I want to make spawn as pretty as possible. Um, see, I was just thinking this is an uneven amount of squares. So I don't know how exactly I want to build this. Which is, you know, kind of going to be strange. Can I, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Um, hmm. Okay, I do have... Uh, wood here. I, should I just make a workbench? I should probably just make a workbench. Mr. Green Hippo, yeah, he's right here. I like feeling the dirt, and I just turn around, and he's literally right in my face and scared the heck out of me. I had no idea who was there. Uh, I've never had someone sneak on me that like uh, that. It's like, how how the heck did he sneak up on me? I was, I was like an open field. It was magical. Magical. Alright. Hmm. How should I do this here? Alright. So I do have an idea of what I kind of want to do. I wanna do. Can you show me? Although I didn't really plan this out 
I don't want to say too well, but um, I did plan this out. Um, I'm going to break this grass. Yeah. Well, well I was going to break, I can't really break these because that makes this look really unnatural. Although, we actually, well, I was going to say we could lower this entire thing, but Judah's shop is all raised by one. Should have probably leveled that ground. <laughs> But, um, oh, I guess that's not too big of an issue, though. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. All right. So I guess the shop could start right about, not here, but here. I want to have a bit of a balcony. Um, what am I, actually, I haven't really explained what I'm doing yet, have I? I'm making a general store. Whoa, why'd that happen? I'm making a general store, and, um... There's actually a general store nearby where I live. It's actually a town um, nearby to where I live. And it looks really run down. So that's what I'm kind of going to go for here. So, for example... Uh, oh, I don't have fences on me, do I? There's my fences. Good boy. I don't know why they're good boys. Anyways. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you could actually place fences... Okay, you can. And make sure you can place fences on the top of uh, half slabs, which it seems we can. Okay, so since we can actually have like a center doorway like in line with the uh, pathway here, what I'm going to do instead is offset each side. I don't have doors, do I? Let's make doors. Let's uh, make a doors. Uh, what do I have the most wood of? Actually, acacia, but uh, we'll just... Do this, I guess. Can I make two? Oh, perfect. That's exactly how the amount of doors I'm going to need. Um, I was thinking three. I might have to push back this hill a little bit. Actually, I probably am. Hmm, should it be? Th yeah, let's make it three. Well, okay, that does that doesn't look too bad. Actually, we'll, we'll do three. Why does that keep happening? I'm place on there. There we go. Okay. So I don't know exactly how big I want to make this that's the thing about winging this thing sometimes it's not really ideal I guess if we place yes we can whoa holy glitchy glitch okay so offset one to the and then what offset one like right here and actually this works perfectly because um and the general store that, that actually is in the area where I live they actually have a separate door for the exit and the entrance, which I know a lot of stores do that, but it feels especially old timey, I guess. So, for example, we'll like make this the exit um, for the walls, because once again, we want this look kind of old, run down. I'm gonna use acacia wood, um, the actual wood itself, not the planks, obviously, because well, the planks don't look exactly old; they look more new than anything. Do I want to do it here though? No, I don't think I want to do it in sets like this. Um, well, I guess we have to do it like that. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking about putting, like, a second story on here. Solely because, like, oh, we can, that's actually kind of annoying to construct because we have to keep doing this. We have to keep breaking them and replacing them. Um, a lot of, like, old or stores that were built back in, like, I don't know, like, the early 1900s. Or really, like, you know, even older. I notice they often have second stories with apartments on it. And my parents used to own their own store. And um, it was also built in, like, that era. And that did, we, we did have an apartment we actually rented out that was on top of the building. So, I mean, that's very true. Should we just, we should probably be using, well, I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? I was going to say use these to, like, place these blocks on. But I guess that really, doesn't really matter what kind of wood I use as a placeholder. So there we go, something like that. Then you walk in, ooh. Hmm. I don't really know if I like the way those open, actually. God dang it. <laughs> that one looks, well, actually, never mind, because, I mean, this could be the e or entrance, that could be the exit. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that'll work out. Every little thing is going to be all right. Hmm. Maybe I should just make all this this way, so it looks kind of like there's a plank going along the roof here, you know, like that. 
Yeah, and then it kind of looks like there's like, um, kind of like a frame, I guess, to it. A frame. I'm definitely going to have to push this um, hill back a little bit. Hmm. I don't really know exactly how tall I want to make this. I was waiting for like Mr. Green Hippo to like sneak up on me again. <laughs> that and I don't really know exactly. Hmm. I think we're going to move this one more this way. So, voila! And then we'll place this here. Uh-huh. There we go. And then we'll do the same here. So what is this? One, two, on the third block. So one, two, three. And I'll fill that in and it will go one, two, three. <laughs> three! There we go. Okay, uh, I guess we could dictate how tall the roof is by... Um, I want it, should it be oak stairs? See, this is where I get a little bit conflicted. I didn't, oh, I was going to say, I didn't bring any dirt to fill her up, but nope, I have all the dirt I have in my name, actually. I brought all that with me to fill this in. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's start with here. I wanted to do kind of like a, um, a patio kind of thing. Here, where is it? There we go. I don't know if it's going to stay. Oh, my good lord. Oh, no, I want the dirt. Give me the dirt. I need the dirt. I want to do this. Oh boy, why does that always glitch out? That hasn't. I don't think that's been happening till recently, right? Actually, that's been happening on like anvils for a while, but I don't think it's been. Ha mm, is this too tall? Well, not really, I guess. I should have brought ladders or something. That would have been nice. Would be nice to have. Hmm. Because this is going to have to be one more taller. That's a little too tall. Huh. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. You go one back. Okay, that's actually the perfect height. I like that height. I'm okay with this dot JPEG. Yeah. Whoa, good. Oh, my. I feel like that's going to happen a lot. I'm so bad at staying on top of things, I always fall off and it sucks and it's poopy. Okay, yes, that's, okay. You break this one. And I'm gonna fall through, I totally am. But that's okay, whatever. Pfft, implying I cur. I totally do cur. It kind of made me mad, actually. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. So something like that. And then I should really just make some ladders at this point. Because look at all this crap. I was pillaring up over and over again. And then I fall. It's like, why did I fall? I didn't touch the keyboard. I didn't move. <sighs> okay. No. No. No, 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 no. I guess I have to do it like this, though. Hmm. And I definitely feel like maybe this is too tall. I might have to change this around. I want to make my build like you know too massive um so how does general sort of actually want to work though is i want it to essentially be um if a player is looking for a certain item in particular let's say like someone wanted like i don't know podzel and they could come here and see if anyone is selling podzel or if like you know someone wanted a silk touch pick then they could come in here and buy a silk touch pick if someone else is selling it or you know the reverse like if someone Wanted like if someone had an extra silk touch pick and they wanted to get rid of it, and then they could come sell here for well, really how much? However much they want. Okay, that's not too tall. That's not too bad. I actually like this. This looks really old-fashioned, like I wanted it to. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna have all this entire uh, face filled with these stairs. Although I don't know if I. Well, those stairs are actually pretty good. I kind of like those. I'm gonna fill fill this out, and I'll see you guys in a second. Those I don't want to make you guys watch all this crap as I fill this over and over again. <clears throat> all right, this is finishing up breaking the dirt here, and let's take a look at what it looks like. That's really not too bad. I kind of like that. Um, I'm gonna have like a sign here that says General Store or something. I initially wanted to put like a big dollar sign here, but I don't really think I'm gonna have enough room to do that would I no I don't think I would have enough room unless I like placed it on top of these stairs or something but that would just get complicated um, also 
did want to have like hold on I guess I'd place it this way wouldn't I once again this will probably change like I don't want this just well I guess we could just have that go into the ground still is that how this was looked though in real life that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Especially the... Oh, okay, well, actually, I didn't even place that correctly. I need another stair. Do I even have oak wood on me? Please tell me I brought oak wood. Oh, I did bring oak wood. Okay. I think I brought every type of wood. Like, minus jungle. I don't have enough still crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there we go. All right. There we go. Um. So, yeah. Uh. The reason I actually brought the villager... Was to be able to put in my general store. He's gonna be my store clerk, and he's gonna make many sales, or I will sell him to another slave trader. Because let's be honest, I need to make money. <laughs> um, hmm. There we go. Okay. Not bad. Uh, do you have? I do. I did bring signs. But, however, I don't really know how I want to do this. Well, I'll... Wait, is this going to be the... Hmm. Okay, this is going to be the entrance. Uh, here, you know what? we we got to make this kind of fancy. Does that work? Oops. Well, only if we did it. Or this looks like Space Invaders or something. <laughs> uh, entrance. Hmm, but we can't really center that, can we? Well, we could if we did something like this. Entrance. And then... Huh, I was going to do like... Oh, I guess I could do a V for a down arrow. Um, and do 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 How's that look? Entrance. Eh, it looks okay. I mean, that's the best I'm going to be able to do. I really like um, Mr. Green Hippo's designs he does on his signs. It looks really neat. Um, I obviously don't want to copy it though, so I'm not going to do that. Um, can we try something else here? Like, for example, that! That's completely different. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, what if we did. Hmm. No, yeah, that looks like I'm swearing. <laughs> that also looks. Well, we could do money. Money, what if we did money and something else? That doesn't... Hmm, money and... Does that look okay? Exits. V for down... I hope people realize that's a down arrow. Because, I mean... Well, what if we... What if we tried... The other way? I kind of like that better, actually. We're going to do that instead. So let's change this sign. Uh, holy, wait, 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 wait. I started with the money on that one. Started from the money, now we're not starting with the money. Actually, we are starting with the money. Uh, crap, it was... It was these, right? Crap, I already forget. Was it the star? Oh, no, I suck at this game. <laughs> Just freaking do it! There we go. There we go. Is that right? That looks about right. Okay. Then we're going to place a... Does that look okay? Like, up there? I wish we could do bigger signs. Like, you know, we could, like, place two signs like that together. Or maybe even four signs. And we could have, like, a two-by-four sign in Minecraft. I mean, should that be a thing? I mean, I really wish we could make bigger signs in this game. Or something. Because otherwise, it looks like... I don't know. It doesn't look that great, does it? General store. General store. Because, I mean, how else? There's no no real other indication of, like, how exactly to do this. But I'm okay with this. Okay, so. Now we just got to figure out something for a floor. Okay, so we're running out of time for today, unfortunately. We're going to see if this happens here. Of course it's not happening now. I'm seriously noticing a really annoying leg glitch. Where if you place... Let's see, it's gonna totally happen. Oh, hasn't it happened yet? I want it to happen! Where if you place like a half slab, it'll often just... It'll fall down to this 
um, the like the full block below it. And it's really annoying and holy crap. It's not as if I'm like placing the block there. It's like I place it there. Wait a second, and then it just like transports down there. I think it's cause like I place it and then I move my mouse. It's like you try that. No, it didn't work there. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna attempt it. See, like there. Like I placed it right there, but I was moving my mouse as I pressed it, and so for some reason the block thinks I'm trying to place it below. I don't know. Anyways, I'm really running out of time. Um, I decided to just go with a simple floor here. Um, one thing I did want to try though. Do I have? No, I don't have any more planks. One thing I did want to try was, because this is an old-fashioned building, you're often going to probably see, like, little defects in the floor, which would include, so, you know, little stairs. I actually learned this trick from B00, or if you just go, like, like, you, you could tell it's, like, well, you could not really tell that, like, it goes down onto the floor, or just, like, you know, a little minor detail, and we did not get nearly as much done today as I thought we would get done. I'm gonna probably record another episode. Uh, I gotta go to work after I record this, but I'll probably come back and record another episode right after that. And we'll all discuss. I'm actually gonna go for a run. I'm gonna run home from work. It's about a six kilometer run, so that's gonna take a little while. And I'm gonna be really tired and hungry, so that might be the worst decision of my life. But I'm also gonna bring a bus ticket just in case I back out of that plan. Um, okay, there we go. So, please, wait, do we have. So this one should probably be like this, right? Yeah, I don't want to place too many of these, but you know, just just a few throughout the building. Um, so thank you all for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like so already. My name is Chris, and of course, this is really just the very bare bones skeleton of this place. We will continue with it in the next episode. I'm gonna place a sign here. Um, work in progress. Wait, I'll work in progress. All these people know it stands for something. Um, Chris. There we go. Just so people go, oh, this is the worst building ever. I should not. Oh, that is the entrance. Welcome back. Hmm. Okay, well, um, I'll have some time to think about what I exactly want to do with this place. So, thanks all for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like for already. My name is Chris. In the next episode, we will hopefully at least finish the skeleton of this place if not finish it as a whole i really gotta start cutting and like you know making actual progress before i'm um, coming back to you guys okay that is the exit okay all right <laughs> i'll talk to you guys later goodbye